Track wrestling with USA Wrestling Women's National Team coach Terry Steiner. And when you go into your office, which is the wrestling room at Colorado Springs, there's 75 pictures of world and Olympic champions. You just added number 76 with Jakara Winchester. Very short list. How does that feel to get another one on your team on the gold medal list? It feels awesome, right? I mean, they don't give those away. Those are hard to attain. And, you know, it takes some special human beings to get on that wall. and and uh, Jakara showed that uh, she's, she belongs in that group tonight. I mean, she, she's wrestled a great tournament. She's had a great year of development. And uh, for Jakara, she's just getting going. I mean, really, she's, she's at her infancy right now. And she has a lot, a lot more there. But uh, she's come a long ways in a very short, short amount of time. And I, you know, I credit our, our college system for building that base. Right, and then, and then I, I credit you know Coach Izzy and, and Coach Chun. They spend a lot of personal time with her, and and uh, they brought her along very well. And so, uh, kudos to all of them. Kudos to Jakara for really capping it off and finishing the job. When Jakara got that first takedown, it almost looked surprising how easy it was. When you saw the takedown, what was, was your thoughts when she got that? Well, actually, I thought even before that, when she, she shot a double leg right away and she missed it, but like EDA was really, she wanted to give that up. If we would have kept driving on it, and we kind of backed out. And and so Jakara's so quick and so powerful. She's a very, very, very physically strong. And uh, so when she got to this, that single leg, you know, I, I thought she could, and I thought she could continue to do it. I thought we could have opened that up match up a little bit longer, but or a little bit more. But but she she did a good job. You know, she she recovered and bounced back from you know being behind and came back and got after it. And you know, uh, that's what you have to do. Adeline Gray is already on that wall. She can make history, going for five world championships, which would be the all-time record in the United States. She talked about some of the preparation and just doing some new things. What new things did you help her with to win this match in the semis? You know, I mean, Adeline, she's had some some issues. You know, she's had a few injuries and stuff like that. And, uh, you know, it's really knowing her body, right, and really understanding what what she needs. And, and she's great at it, right? I feel like we're kind of along for the ride. But she, she does a great job of managing herself and, and being her own coach. But... You know, I think we, we talked, we've talked a lot about the mental side of things during the last couple of camps, and, and uh, Adeline's a big part of that. She is definitely, obviously, a championship mindset, right? And, and um, she's just done a great job. Um, you know, she, she's a consummate professional, right? I mean, she's the one that's always right, taking notes down and asking questions and learning and, you know, constantly you know she's a student of this sport and it shows and then she she just you know when those lights are on headline shines the brightest right and and um, she just has something innate in there that you, you, you don't teach right and she you know tonight's match against Vakin I mean this is a tough girl and a very uh, uh, an issue style wise right and, and uh, she came out of a couple of scoring situations that, very easily could have went the other way and uh, she found her way out of those and just stayed patient in the match and I would have liked to have seen a little bit more open up you know at the break as we talked about it was like Adeline you haven't shown anything yet you got you got different ways you can attack but you haven't shown anything well then you know it just came down to a patience thing and then Bakken took a shot and Adeline capitalized on it you know and then got on top and you know everyone's concerned about her laces all of a sudden she's turning people in gut wrenches right and, and so so she's just done a great job of continuing to develop, right? She could have easily, uh, a few years ago, just just stayed with her leg lace. But she's continuing to develop and, and enhance her wrestling. And uh, again, uh, I think you have to, to stay on top for as long as she's been on top. You know, and we're not there yet. We got to do it again tomorrow. But, but you know, she, she, you got it. You have to continually evolve. And she's done a great job at evolving her wrestling. Victoria Francis had a real opportunity there. She looked really good in that bronze medal match, just missing a couple things, got to her ties. What did she have to do to get over the top and get that medal? 
you know what, she just has to continue to develop, you know, I mean, people, she lost a year, right? She lost a year of development. She couldn't be at, at any camps or anything like that um, um, because of a USADA issue. And, um, but she's back now and, you know, she just, you're getting back in the swing of things and really, I mean, she's just a special kid, you know, a really good heart, uh, somewhat limited as, you know, athleticism and things like that, but she, you know, she reminds me a lot of how she was to tell you, like Randy Miller, right? And Randy was a great champion for us, and, and she, but she knows exactly where she wants to be and she gets out there and works hard. We just gotta get a little bit better at finishing that front headlock. We gotta get a little bit better at finishing those single legs. Uh, but really, this was, she wrestled the game plan. We just missed, you know, I think we were in on two or three singles. I think we were, had her on the ground uh, three times in her front headlock. Right, and had her sprawled out on a shot, and we, we never took, you know, we just never capitalized on it quite. We were so close, and um, uh, we were maybe just, you know, a little bit short. If there was 30, 30 more seconds, maybe we would have had that. Yeah. And then Force Molinari had a real opportunity that slipped away there. What does she have to do? She's so tough and conditioning, and you know that she has the motor. What does she have to do to make sure she gets in the finals? Well, I think I think she, you know, she, she has to continue to do what she's doing. She has sneaking up on you here. She's developed. She's de she's developed. There's our champ. There's our champ. Look at that belt. Look at hey, that. Take a look. My yeah. first medal and it's gold, huh? Let's keep it that way. Let's keep it that way. Let's get a collection of them. <laughs> so, anyways, um, uh, you know, Forrest has come a long way. It's just in her training process. You know, she's growing. She's listening. She's she's a stubborn person, right? And and that's what makes her great. But also, you know, she has to, sometimes has to listen a little bit more. And I think she's starting to realize that that you know, there's some better ways to do some things. And uh, she, she'll continue. There's not a doubt in my mind. She's very hungry. She she wants to win, and I, she hates to lose, right? And I think. Both of those are important, wanting to win and hating to lose. And uh, and I think it's very important uh, for her development. Just, you know, she's just got to continue on. But we got to get, you know, we've got to get a little better. People can't get to our legs that easy. we got to know how to shut a match down, right? And uh, we just let it slip away. So we, we uh, I thought we'd change our tactics a little bit. We were pressuring, pressuring, pressuring all of a sudden with, 45 seconds left or whatever it was, she started backing away a little bit and and trying to, uh, you know, there was, there was some space there and we ne just need to keep that gap closed. But hey, we'll come back tomorrow. Hopefully she can come back and get that bronze medal and and uh, leave here with something, right? And that's, that's important. Let's end on this. Let's talk about process for next year. We know Adeline Gray, because she has a medal, she's in the finals in the Olympic trials. Right. Jakara Winchester is at a non-Olympic weight, so she gets to the semifinals. For those who are trying to understand the system, if you do not medal at a non-Olympic weight, you have to go through the entire process. So it's a big thing to get a medal here at the World Championships in an Olympic weight. It is, it is. And, and you know, I mean, you know, the Olympic weight, obviously, if you're medaling at an Olympic weight, you deserve some, some sort of uh, benefit to that, right? And, and some sort of protection to that. And not that we want to fully protect an athlete because we want them to stay hungry and have to earn that spot again. But you do want to put them in a position that you rewarded them for what they did. And uh, the non-Olympic weights, we, we gave them some reward, right? Before, we haven't done that. And so now they're in the semifinals, you know, whichever weight they go to, you know, they, they're in the semifinals. So, so it's still a big step, right? Everyone else has to, we have December nationals, right? And it starts there. That starts the seeding, seeding for the Olympic trials, right? And, and so it's going to be important, but, you know, hopefully, hopefully we, you know, get the, we still have four people that have a chance at medals, right? We got one locked up, but uh, hopefully we take care of business tomorrow, and and then we'll worry about that after after the next couple of days. So, so right now we have a lot of work ahead of us. Yeah, you know, I mean Adeline is going for a fifth world gold medal, right? And uh, that's pretty special. And so you know, she's got to be ready for that tomorrow. Forrest has gone for a bronze, and then we have Kayla Miracle and. Tamara Mensa stock coming in and and uh, they're they're incredible athletes right and and so we're expecting big things from them 
the weight classes are loaded. There's no doubt. Uh, you know, the, the world is getting tougher and tougher. And uh, but uh, these two athletes are pretty incredible. So we'll see how it goes tomorrow. End of day two of the Women's World Championships. We've been talking with USA Wrestling's Terry Steiner.